We're at the Japanese prisoner of war steps, and there's also a dog memorial here. Um, so we're going to have a little walk around, and we'll show you what we see. Uh, it says that Japanese prisoners of war incarcerated at the naval station were assigned various masonry construction projects around the base. Today, these steps and the Japanese POW amphitheater remain as excellent examples of masonry technique widely practiced in Japan during the 1930s and 40s. The site consists of three sets of steps separated by three horizontal concrete platforms. Concrete curbing is found along both sides of the staircase, and a low concrete retaining wall extends in both directions parallel to San Luis Road. On top of the left curbing that borders the first platform is engraved in the cement a series of Japanese characters and the three Roman letters POW. Translated into English, it reads, in memory of the prisoners of war on the island of Rhoda on the 27th day of the seventh month in the 21st year of the reign of Emperor Hirohito. This would be July 27, 1946. So, well, that's what this sign says, and we'll have a little look around. The sun is in such a direction that I don't know how this will come out, but here are the three flights of steps, and I'm not, you'll be happy to know that I'm not going to film while I walk up them. We know what an experience that would be for you, the viewer. Anyway, there's a third set right up there at the top. Here at the top is a plumeria tree. I like these, and they smell really sweet, so I just thought I'd show it to you here. Plus, it gives me an excuse to stand for a moment in the shade. Always a welcome respite. Oh, we can't find the writing, <laughs> so I can't show you that engraving, but we're going back down the steps now. This is the entrance to the dog memorial. Cheryl's already over there. You can see her over there on the right, and we're going to go in there. Reggie has pointed out that we are here at the dog memorial on Memorial Day. One might say Memorial Day has gone to the dogs. No, one might not say that, only if one were silly. It's a war dog cemetery, and... It's to commemorate the dogs that were sent into battle to sniff out the Japanese who were hiding in caves. It says, uh, soldiers were not the only casualties of the Battle of Guam. More than 20 U.S. combat dogs were killed in action and buried on the island after the liberation in 1944. Marines used trained dogs to search enemy caves, sniff out minefields, and guard perimeters at night. The work was dangerous and nutrition was high because their actions saved lives. These dogs were laid to rest with great affection and respect. So those grave markers you just saw were for the 25 marine dogs, war dogs, who gave their lives liberating Guam in 1944. And on this um, placard underneath that statue, that bronze casting of the dog, are all the dogs' names. Kurt, Skipper, Nig, Missy, Blitz, Bursch, Yanni, Poncho, Prince, Kathy, Arno, Pepper, Coco, Tubby, hmm, Fritz, <laughs> Duke, Silver, Ludwig, Bunky, Hobo, Emmy, Max, Brocky, Ricky, and Tam. Tam is buried at sea off uh, Assen Point. But the others are here, and those, mark those grave markings are for each of them. And that, that little carving is meant to be the head of a dog. <laughs> 